degradation for the BTCC mid-season review for AMD access all areas. So first question, how do you feel the season has gone so far? Um, not great to be honest, I think we'd all agree with that. Um, we came in with high ex expectations really, good car. Um, with a bit of support from AM, from from Motorbase, so I, thought, I think we thought we were going to do a bit better than we have. But when you think about it, it's a new car to the team. Uh, it's a new car to me. I'm new to the team, and we're up against real stiff opp opposition. So, you know, we've learnt a lot. I think from now at this point on, the rest of the season should be our our, our, our best bit. Um, we've learnt a lot. We've made some mistakes, both me as a driver, uh, some setup. Uh, it's mistakes maybe as well so we've, we've all found our way and I think now we need to start performing so uh, yeah we could have done better I think. So the cars are quite different from last season to this season how do you find that you've got to grips with the car? Um, I think that's been one of the one of the issues for me um, I think I've crashed this car more than I've crashed any car before in my life uh, I think it's just down to the fact it's so different to the, the cars of last year um, so uh, this this car oversteers quite a bit more than last year's car was just with a bit understeer. So uh, yeah, ultimately I think this is going to be a faster car, but we've, it's taken a bit of uh, a bit of getting used to. Do you find it's it's easier to drive? Or no, definitely not. No, it's the opposite. It's, it's totally definitely opposite. you've got to you've got to treat this car with respect, mm. uh, and that's taken a bit of getting used to. But um, yeah, I'm definitely getting there. I'm loving driving it. Yeah. Now. Although you want to beat everyone and ideally cross the finish line in first position, which driver gives you the greatest satisfaction and why to beat? It'll have to be Plato, I think, probably, wouldn't it? <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think me and Jason have had some history. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, it's always good. He's, he's, a, he's, he's one of the top uh, touring car drivers in the world. So you, you've always, you've always want, you always want to beat him. Um, there's a few drivers, but I think Plato's the top one. Top one. If AMD were to run a second car, who would you want to see as your teammate? Um, well, you want somebody quick in there, so you can gauge yourself. Um, I'd like to think, you know, we've got quick guys in the other Fords, and I'm, I'm matching up quite well to those guys. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, um, I'd say uh, Gordon Shedden. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Is there a reason for that? Like, well, he's, he's quick. He's, he's a quick. former champion. Um, he's at the top of his game, and he's uh, he's, you know, he's quicker than his teammate at the minute. So yeah. you always want somebody that's going to stretch you. So uh, yeah, I think he'd be a good guy to work with. Okay. What is your greatest racing achievement to date? Obviously, we know you had a podium in the BTCC, and obviously you've won in the Clio Cups. Which would you think is your your greatest? Joe, you surprised me. I've actually won in BTCC. Yeah. And, uh, and it was, was right here, got two years ago. Yeah, we've got, we've got podiums. Um, so yeah, my, my first win in BTCC really was a big one, and that was here, yeah. two years ago. So, uh, no pressure. Um, <laughs> no pressure. And then we backed that up with another one at, uh, at, at, at Knock Hill, which was, even, which was special as well, because uh, that was home as well. So yeah, uh, just, to, just to be a winner in BTCC is, uh, is incredible. So uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, winning, winning the the, uh, the, the Clio Cup Championship is, is also pretty special. Yeah. But uh, I think winning the race in BTCC is yeah, it's high. Level. And that car before, see, it wasn't one of the best cars on the track. How did you find that when obviously you're racing it with ES Racing? Um, it was a pretty good car to be honest. It, it had a lot of money spent on it. Um, it was a, a Ford an excellent works Vauxhall. Um, so uh, yeah, it, it, it was a pretty good car. It was starting to get to the stage where it couldn't match the uh, the NGTC cars, but it, the, certain cir certain circumstances where it was very quick and it was competitive, and here was it. Uh, and that's when we, we, we yeah we we, uh, we looked into a, a decent reverse grid, but still had to go and do it on the track. And uh, yeah, it was, it, was a, it was a good one that. So is this one of your favourite tracks to go to now? It is, to be honest, and it was before, to be honest, because uh, it's a big track, and it's got a mix of all different kinds of corners, so uh, yeah, it's, it is a, it's a, it's a special track this for me. How do you feel you will do to the, all this weekend then, with the racing? Have you got Hopefully. any set, set goals for here? Any positions think, you want to aim for? Yeah, here in the rest of the season we've got to, we've got to sort of qualify now. Um, we've not been qualifying very well. 
Um, so if we can qualify inside the top ten, that's going to be our, our aim uh, for this weekend and moving forward. Because we know we can, we, we've got good race pace. We've had good race pace all year. Um, so uh, if we can qualify in the, inside the top ten, we, we should be lined up to have a really good weekend. So that's that's the aim for this weekend. Point that well. So obviously, when you were younger, you were really into the speedway rather than the karting. Mm -hmm. um, back then, where did you think you would end up? Do you think you would have? Back then, were you thinking that you would be a big BTCC star, or did you see yourself just in the speedway side of it, or anything else, or any of these other series? Um, I raced um, from the age of seven on the bikes, and um, I, I, I progressed into speedway. So you're you right there. Um, it's a difficult one. Now, I, I wanted to become a, a professional speedway rider, and there are there are a lot of speedway riders I used to race against who have made a really good living out of it. Um, but for me, um, the the budget wasn't quite there for it. Um, the passion wasn't quite there for it. I was a, I was you know 16, 17, and did I want to go into the garage and start stripping the bike down and get it ready for the next meeting, or do I want to go out with my mates? And, you know, jack birds up, stuff like that. Um, and I, sorry to say, I, I chose chose the latter. And I, uh, and I also had a, a bad accident and I broke my shoulder blade, and um, so that put me out for a while. And I never really got back into it. And then, before you know it, it was a decade past, and I've not done anything, anything motor racing at all. And then uh, I got into karting, uh, and through that, into cars, and to where I am now. Um, I would, looking back, I wish I'd stayed in Speedway because I think I would have made a good living out of it. <laughs> um, and I think, you know, I think I could have been quite good at it as well. But I've, I've got to be happy with, with what I've managed to achieve um, in this sport. Um, when I started karting, I didn't think I would ever get here. When I started racing cars, I didn't even think I'd get here. It's when I got into Cleo Cup, I thought, well, maybe if we can get, get the back in, we could maybe scrape in there and be one of the tail enders. Um, so I think we've, I've done quite well. Yeah, uh, really well. It's been a lot of sacrifice, a lot of money um, to get me here, but um, uh, and a lot of work. But I'm so glad I've, I've, I've managed to be able to achieve my boot here. So, with regards to obviously the season now, what do you hope to achieve going forwards then for the next sort of couple of rounds? Um, we want to, it's the same the same goals we started, we want to be on the podium. Um, I wanted to be you know, inside the top eight in the championship, that's not going to happen. I think we've only finished three races in the last six, so you know, we're way behind on the points. So, uh, I think we can forget the championship. Let's forget where we're going to finish. Uh, let's see if we can get some podiums and, and, and start mixing it with the, with the quick guys in the front consistently. Um, and to do that, we need to be qualifying well. So it's going to get back to that again. But uh, yeah, I want to win a race. I'm desperate to win a race again. I'd like to do it for, for AMD as well because I know they'd, they'd, you know it'd be great for the guys. Um, but let's start with a podium. Let's, let's see if we can get a third place this weekend. Let's see if we can get on the podium uh, and build on that. So after your crash at Alton, obviously that was quite a big impact. Mm. Do you find it a bit scary to get back in the car afterwards? No, because I kind of know what happened there. Um, if something's happened and you don't know what happened there, then that, that might cause a bit of uh, a bit of worry. But uh, no, I'd have been happy to jump in. If the car was fixable, I'd have been giving it 100% for the next the, the very next race. So, you know, you don't think about it, to be honest. You get, you get behind the wheel, you concentrate on what you're doing. So it doesn't knock your confidence at all, you know? No, I don't think so. No? Good. Where do you see yourself um, next season? Would you like to stay with the AMD team or do you think you might venture off into other series? Other um, I want to be in BTCC, that's for sure. Um, I want to be here next year um, and I'd love to stay with AMD. Uh, it's a great bunch of guys. Got to know them all very well now. We're getting, our, we're getting, our, our, uh, we're getting to know the car very well now. Um, so it'd be great for consistency to keep keep it going um, it'd be great to start a season knowing the car you're in and, and knowing that each tweak you do does that to the car which you know we've, I've, I've had to work my way into every season so far with a different car and that's not been necessarily down to me it was with um, STR I was with the, in the sea out there they went world touring cars so I had to go and look for somewhere else then we went to uh, uh, ES Racing 
and they didn't have the budget to buy an NGTC car, so I had to look elsewhere. And it's you know it's a real it's a real shame that I've had to almost forced into looking elsewhere uh, every year. So uh, yeah, I hope Sean likes what I'm doing, and we can really sort something out for next year. It'd be great. Um, but uh, I think we need to concentrate on this year first of all, and, uh, and, and really have a good end to the year, and then we'll we'll talk. But uh, it'd be great to see. And then you've got your home track coming on soon. Are you yeah. excited to be there? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have a lot of guests there, um, <laughs> a lot of home support. So uh, yeah, no, and, and, and Knock Hill's a great circuit. Uh, it's all action. Um, it's not probably not the best race circuit. It's very difficult to overtake, but uh, it's certainly you've got to fight the car to get it round there the best, it, 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 you know, the quickest. So uh, the cars on two wheels more than four, I think, round there. So it's, it, it's a great circuit. Uh, like the home support, yeah, really looking forward to it.